Have you ever had a problem trying to get a horse to back up? You feel like you've tried everything and you just can't get him to back up no matter what you do? Hi, I'm Kim Wendy, owner of Passionate Horsemanship. And you know, I see a lot of people that they go through this where they have a hard time getting the horse to back up. And what they do is when they are on them, they pull back on the reins, trying to get that horse to back up, and that horse just braces. So they lean back further and pull harder, thinking they're going to get more leverage to get the horse to back up, and the horse is still bracing up. So then they resort to things like taking them and popping them on the shoulders, trying to get them to back up, and the horse is still bracing. Or they might take and they pull each rein on the right and then the left, and the right and the left, and sometimes that works. And a lot of times what happens is the horse will go just from side to side to side. And they'll still stand there and they won't go backwards. So then they get off and they think, I'm going to get this horse to back. So they take and they pull back on the reins and they slap it in the chest. And they might get one or two steps back and they think, okay, great. Now I'm going to get back on and try this again. And they go through the same process again. The horse is bracing up. The horse is not going backwards. And they just get more frustrated. And the horse can feel that energy when you get frustrated like that it goes down into their body too. So, you know, it doesn't have to be this way. There is an easier way to do this. The effective way that you can do this is with clicker training. It's a very simple tool that is very effective and it really helps with communication. What you can do is once that you, the horse shifts the weight back, you can click and mark that the instant the horse shifts its weight back to say, yes, that's what I wanted. And then you build on that process from there. But you know, the horse should back up easily. I mean, you get him back up on the ground. And this is where you should get him to back up is on the ground, like him. He backed up on the ground. I didn't even pull back on him. He just went back. He knew to go back. You can also get him to where you put a, a neck rope on him and you get him to back easy. And then when you're mounted on them, you have the reins up there and you ask him to back and you just get him to back real easy too. Now he thinks I wanted him to go sideways because we've been working on that, so let me do this a little bit better. Like if I was on him. There we go. And you just work on that, like I said, but you've got to give them the first time they just shift back a little bit. You've got to reward that. Because that's what happens is a lot of times these people just pull back and the horse is bracing. They didn't even recognize the shift when it first happened. And you've got to build on that. But that's where clicker is so effective and comes in to really get the horse to understand. It is so, it's just a great communication tool. And if you would like to learn how to use clicker training with your horse, get in contact with me. We can set up lessons no matter where you live. I can do video lessons or I can do lessons in person and help you with your horse, not only for backing, but many other things I can help you accomplish. Go to my website at www.passionatehorsemanship.com. Thanks for watching.